After seven years of this construction of the Watro Bridge, it has finally now been inaugurated today, the 22nd of January. And it is to be mentioned that this Wario Bridge, which is right behind me, it was constructed in the year 2014 and completed in the year 2018. Amid much funfair on January 22, Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Conrad K. Sangma, along with his cabinet colleagues, inaugurated the 169.35 meter Warho single arc bridge, touted as the longest in India. Located at a distance of about 75 kilometers from the state capital Shillong, the bridge that's been built over River Tharia will work as a connecting link between Sobar and Nongri. The bridge is also expected to be a tourist attraction and will help in providing livelihood opportunities for the area locals. Road connectivity to the bridge, however, remains a prime concern for the locals. With only parts of the road connecting the bridge constructed so far, locals have urged the government to speed up the construction process. The road is not in a good condition, so I also myself I request the government to please look into this matter because the, the road is the main uh, important thing uh, for the tourists to come. So when the road is not in proper condition, no one will come and visit this place. That's why I request the government to look into the matters so that the road, the road will be in a good condition, so that the more tourists will come to this area. Both this road from Nongji side and from the Sobar side, the construction of the road is going on. But uh, we uh, we request the con Tractors to kindly speed up this um, the construction of this road so, so that the completion of this road in, in time will benefit the people uh, of, uh, of our area because lots of people will come if the condition of the road is good. That we were supposed to come here. Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, meanwhile, said the state government was recently sanctioned an externally aided project from the new development bank to help develop tourism infrastructure in the state, adding that his government will take up projects to develop tourism in the area. See, first thing we'll require is uh, good connectivity. So, uh, as uh, was announced by the Deputy CM, many roads, uh, including the connectivity to the bridge also, has been sanctioned and work has started. And we're hopeful that within the next few months, the road connectivity will improve to a large extent. Number two, we need to have uh, basic facilities for the tourists out here, like a place to eat, place uh, to stay, and uh, toilet facilities, uh, and other facilities that are normal uh, tourists would require. So we will ensure that uh, from the state budget or from the externally aided project that uh, funds that we're getting, that we will invest uh, in this area. And uh, it'll be important to also note that it's not just the government. We would want to urge the private sector uh, also to come in and play its role and I think if both the private sector and the government play a uh, uh, kind of uh, complementary role uh, I think we'll be able to really take the tourism sector forward because it's a beautiful place and I'm sure that tourists will really enjoy this place so yes uh, it is a, a priority area and we'll ensure that uh, we make necessary investments from our side in that thank you so much the Waro Bridge has finally been inaugurated by Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma and it was also in the presence of Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong and also the Speaker Medba Lingdo was also present at the inaugural ceremony. And it is to be mentioned that a total of rupees 49 over rupees 49 crore has been spent uh, in the construction of this Waro Bridge. And it, uh, also the bridge right behind me which is called the Waro Bridge connects Sobar and uh, Nongjri village and uh, the aim of the government right now is to boost the tourism in this area. This is Princess Rasha reporting for EastMojo.com from Meghalaya. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.